I see you watching me when we're with our friends. It's definitely something in the air. So let's take it from there, cause I know you want it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Emily. If you are <laughs> a returning subscriber, your friend, and my favorite person, and you don't even know it yet. So today's Tuesday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Today's Tuesday. I have uh, a nail appointment. I'm going to Lux. I want to go get my nails done, get my eyebrows done. That's why I haven't done them, and they look a bit weird. Um, and also get waxed my armpits. I think. That will be it. And then um, I need to run an errand or two while I'm there. So that is what my day looks like. My appointment is at 7. I am so sleepy. I am so heavy eyed in case you can't tell. Um, because I wanted to make it on time for my 7 a.m. appointment. I didn't sleep well. But before I go into that, let me submit the outfit as well as the scent of the day. I'm wearing this jacket from Chica. Uh, this uh, t-shirt, it's a bodysuit actually. It's not a t-shirt. I can't find the t-shirt that I was meant to wear. And um, it's a very beautiful t-shirt from Elsie Waikiki. So if any of my sisters are watching these and they're the ones that have it, Hmm? <laughs> anyway, this uh, bodysuit was a gift. The pants are the ones that I got from uh, Kafo. The last time I was at Kafo, I got them in a large, although I'd recommend if you're a small, get them in small. If you are a medium, get them in a medium. I am a medium. Should have picked a medium because uh, the length is too much for me and I don't want to cut it. The shoes, the beautiful shoes are from... Um, from miniso they are the ones that i got from miniso as well i like that they have that heel so they'll hold the pants uh height a little bit and then uh, um uh, what else what else i think that's it for the fit i could have changed my bag to that white one there the gucci diana but i was too lazy to do that so i'm carrying my current favorite bag and then as for the scent of the day, I'm wearing Omon Jane and the scent Babylonia or de Parfum. Love these. It's for the clean, organized galios. That's how I'd describe it. I almost wore that jacket with that uh, Dior scarf, but it wasn't complementing my outfit because of this print. So instead, I've gone for this scarf, which was a gift from my sister. And I feel like I'm risking because... It's a bit cold and I'm wearing chiffon palazzo pants. But anyway, I've worn a jacket and a scarf. So I think that will do. All right. Let's uh, head out and I'll talk to you guys when I'm back home. As long as I cut my suits and tie, I'm going to leave it up on the floor tonight. Baby girl. Mm -mm -mm. Let me show you all feel things. Let me show you all feel things. Bum, bum, butter. If that song doesn't go like that. That is my remix version. <laughs> All right, see you guys. And I know you need it. Why don't we let it grow, grow, grow? I think it's time we stop tipping on our toes. What's holding you back now, sugar? Cause I don't know. Sure, no, you won't. Afraid to let it show. Keep that passage closed for centuries. 
Kumbe kamera yako si mbaya. Na kwa ni darau. <laughs> Hi guys, we are having lunch. I am back home. Yo, when I tell you I'm so exhausted, it's because I didn't sleep well on Monday. Neither did I on Sunday, sorry. Neither did I sleep well yesterday. And neither am I going to sleep well today. Reason being I have work to do. Let me put this here. All right, so um, uh, I went to town and I got my nails done, of course. They look like so. I went for a red this time. Edwin convinced me not to cut off my nails, so we went with a little bit of length this time, and this is a deep, deep red. And I usually get my nails done at uh, Lux Nails Parlor. It's at Bihitawa's uh, 10th floor, all right? So after I got my nails done, I also got my eyebrows done by Stanley. After which uh, I went to Bernice and got waxed. And then uh, my sister was in town. She had a TV interview. Uh, and we linked up for lunch as usual. If she's in town and I'm in town, we will have lunch together. So, after that, <laughs> um, uh, I passed by the most dangerous place on earth, which is Jamia Mall. But before I show you what I got at uh, Jamia Mall, let me show you first what I got at, um, not what I got, sorry, not what I got, what came in when I was away. This is... This is a beautiful, beautiful cashmere scarf. By the way, guys, if I've never told you, if I didn't love handbags as much as I do, I would be a collector of scarves. I love scarves. Is it scarves or scarves? I think both are correct. Yeah, if I remember my grammar correctly, scarves or scarves are uh, both correct. So, um, this scarf is from uh, Ado underscore accessories KE. It's uh, a beautiful gray, charcoal gray with uh, burgundy or maroon, if you may. And I love it. I love how it looks. I love scarves generally. And I don't mind having as uh, many as I could. I just feel like they are a good way to accessorize especially during the cold season check them out they have a variety if you'd wish to get um, a scarf or anything on their page they don't only sell scarves so i love these this is beautiful and very classy all right so that was what came in while i was away and then um i have a friend of mine at um this just a minute. Yeah, <laughs> I've just seen my cookie jars are empty. And there are people who are usually concerned about these cookies or these kids. They're usually like, oh, these cookie jars of yours never run out. They do run out, actually. As you can see, empty, empty. Even this is pretty much empty, which I need to refill once I go do my grocery shopping. Anyway, I got distracted. I was saying I... Uh, I have a friend at Jamia Mall. Hmm. Jamia Mall will be the end of me. I have a friend there that uh, um, sells dresses, official clothes. So I was talking to her and I was telling her I'm looking for official shoes, black shoes. And then she directed me to a nearby shop. First glance at that shop. You know how much I love style and fashion generally? I was able to tell 
those have to be genuine shoes. So I walked into this store. It's a Jamia Mall shop number F85B. Yeah, if I'm not wrong. I walked into the shop. These are stockings for wearing boots. Yeah, I walked into the shop and I was immediately obsessed with everything they have to sell. Reason being, they sell um, uh, clearance stock from uh, Nordstrom and what is the other one called? Uh, dress for Less, Rose, Rose or Rose, Rose Dress for Less. What they do is they buy um, uh, shoes from uh, Charles and Cave, Saks Fifth Avenue, Aldo, Jessica Simpson, uh, Vince Camuto, um, just to name a few. All this story to tell you that I got some of those at his shop and they're genuine guys. So the first thing that I saw and got myself was this pair of boots. This is a Jessica Simpson boot, looks like so. I dirtied it while I was trying it on and uh, if you look at the zip detail, you can tell this is a Jessica Simpson shoe, original. He sells both um, both authentic and uh, how would I call it? I wouldn't call them fake, but I would call them um, both authentic store shoes and others for lack of a better term. And he tells you which is which. And I can tell you for sure, even by the weight of this shoe, that this is a real Jessica Simpson shoe. Even from the sole, even from the sizing, even from the logo, yeah. So I got this shoe, very beautiful. The heel is manageable. I love my boots chunky, but I love that this heel is comfortable. That is how you know a shoe is genuine. Even when it has a heel on, it's so comfortable for you to walk around with so i got this pair of boots these are thigh high boots look like so in a, a neutral color of course i was so happy that they came uh, in a neutral color for me to bag these uh, from his assorted size was just fantastic especially knowing i would cough some dough if I went to the real store for these and they are brand new, remember? His are uh, clearance sales and then this is what I went for. Yo guys, the problem is I shop as though, hey, I'm married to a drug lord. Yo, anyway, but this is what I went for. Now this is a uh, Saks Fifth Avenue shoe, again, leather suede, so uh, quite durable and um, also the weight of the shoe the sole, the, how it felt on my feet. I had no doubt for sure that this is a Saks Fifth Avenue shoe. I got them in black. They look like so. The pair that I have is almost worn out. I have owned it since I joined law school, which was uh, quite a while, a few years back. Right, so I got them and these are the shoes that I'm going to wear tomorrow because I have a hearing. So I'll be headed to the office and then, yo, yeah. mm, last but not least, I'd like to thank me. <laughs> Guys, have a look, please. Look at that. Have you ever, have you ever, this on my feet, yo. Yeah. You wait and see. I'll show you guys because I'm wearing them soon. Probably the day after tomorrow if I will step out. I have something planned with a friend of mine. So hopefully we get to do it the day after tomorrow. And I'll probably wear these. Now again, these are Jessica Simpson shoes. And the logo is there. Again, brand new. So durable. And so, so beautiful. Wow. These for dinner dates. Mm, fantastic fantastic um yeah that was the mess that happened today listen the dollar is officially at 150 i need to stay away from shoes i think i have bought enough shoes for the rest of the year yeah that was the stuff that i got from town 
Um, uh, two things. Either I cook, but I'm still full, or I work. I choose to work because these shoes are not going to buy themselves and anything else in this house. So um, um, I want to get on to work because I haven't worked the whole day, which is very serious considering today is a weekday. I actually even have a Zoom meeting in uh, a few minutes. So I need to jump on to that as well. And then uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow as I'm going to court. guys today is wednesday i have caught i have a hearing that's why i'm headed to court quick fit of the day as well as the scent of the day so i'm sure you've seen this fit before the blouse is from toy market the suit is from wilson i'm going to leave his number here in case you'd want to get a similar set the shoes are the ones that i got yesterday you should never be caught pairing navy blue and black but here we are <laughs> there are so many things you could do before you pair navy blue and black but i don't mind it it matches my bag which is uh that christian dior tote and uh, as for the scent of the day i am wearing tom ford's no wordy noah and i've paired it with um this one right here what is it this one uh aqua digio by giorgio armani in the scent absolute i love pairing the two of these the lippy is uh toxic by shop new level and i think that's it let's go solve some legal issues pick up my coffee this is a uh, coffee with caramel syrup which is that all right let's head out Good morning guys. Today is Thursday. It's 9.03. Um, I have caught just a mention, but uh, I am number 37, so I'm taking my sweet time. I think I last spoke to you yesterday when um, when I was headed to the office, but today, today is a different day. Um, I'm having my weekly mandatory yogurt. This is a yogurt with real pear caramel. Uh, and then after I'm done with court, I'll make a coffee with the last piece of leftover cake that I have. And then we can catch up on some good ratchet TV. <laughs> I feel like um, I have to catch up on so many episodes. So that is my plan of the day. And then later on, uh, I'll be meeting my friend for a date night. So that is what my day looks like today. Let me get started with court and then we will chat later on, I think in the evening.
it's magic when we kiss I can be myself with you kiss me now I ain't sick Guys, it's time for me to step out now Did I tell you where I was going? If I didn't um, uh, I'm headed to a dinner date with my friend to celebrate her birthday Yo, guys, adulting We have rescheduled and cancelled and rescheduled again until when we were both free which is today so i'm taking her out for dinner to celebrate her birthday and we are headed to jiko restaurant at uh, the tribe hotel it's at village market quick outfit as well as the scent of the night it should be scent of the night because it's a dinner date okay so this sweater would i call it a sweater dress i don't know it is uh from kairetu's apparel i'm going to style it up there at the top i just didn't want it to get makeup uh i'm wearing fendi stockings which are those the devil is in the details and the boots are the ones that i got earlier on in the vlog the jessica simpson ones and um that is my bag of the day. It's from uh, Luxel. Lippy is the great Milani's number. What number is it? Is it number forty-two? I'm not sure, but it is in the shade Devotion. Um, what else? Scent of the day. As for the scent of the day, I'm wearing the great, the incomparable Hasibat by Nishani, which is that. know it looks sunny and it is sunny but i know it's for a short while so i'm still going to wear the coat that you saw me steaming let me just pick it up and then i'm going to throw it on top because i know it's uh, really cold those sides um so there is the full fit i meant to close it off and then tie it here with um with the belt on the side so that it's a bit stylish i'm so glad i went for the fendi stockings i wanted to wear the gucci ones but you know what fendi for the friends gucci for your man <laughs> i just made that up all right let me head out and uh, we will talk when i'm back if not we will talk tomorrow don't do it for the man man never notice you just do it for yourself you there mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, your friends see her i picked up some flowers for the birthday girl um yeah see you
yellow mellow. I am back home and uh, I had a beautiful night with my friend. Let me just put this here, even my bag. So, uh, uh, yo, I'm so thirsty. Just a minute, just a minute. So um, I passed by Kafo to get some groceries that I was running out of. Um, I thought I'd have to come back home and maybe do grocery shopping either tomorrow or over the weekend. But I'm happy I killed two birds with one stone. I got tissues. I was hosting last week so I've run out of... Uh, I don't have enough to last me the entire month rather. I'm not sure ran out of. I got kitchen tissues. This should be fixes. These are soft tissues. I got uh, two packets of milk. The lactose free ones. I got my cappuccino de Torino. Um, uh, <laughs> I bought more of this. I can never have enough of this in my house, especially if my sisters keep coming, they always carry them whenever they are around. I got smokies, I got uh, gummy bears, I got a uh, blue torch for my toilet. These are apples, and then. I was so happy to find that uh, the cafe at the village market has the peanut burrito that I like. So I didn't buy M&M's and uh, what else is it that I buy? And a lunch bar. I got <laughs> toothpaste. Yeah, this is what took me to the supermarket. I was almost cutting mine into half and you know what I mean. If you went to boarding school, you know that's a mode of survival. But if you don't know what I mean, you are lucky, you privileged kids. And I got stock soft. I didn't have that. And yeah, that was the stuff that I got. And I got this because I don't like buying the cafe bags. I prefer having more of these, like two or three. So that's my third one. And it's smaller than the other one, which can fit uh, a moderate shopping. Guess what? I forgot to buy uh, Oreos and the cream biscuits and the which are these ones digestive manji biscuits which i'll buy the next time uh, i'm in the supermarket so um, i took a cappuccino which means i'll be a night owl for the rest of the night because it was strong it was really strong but let's see what time i get to sleep i'll see you guys um uh, tomorrow good night for now good morning it's friday there and today's friday yeah it is a farahide i feel like having potatoes with sausages so that's what i'm going to have and a cup of coffee because i finally bought milk uh, my plans for the day are to work for like a good one hour or two after which i will just sit down and binge on my favorite shows um yeah that is my plan, so let's start off by uh, making breakfast. I remember getting locked up in myself. That thing of loving was for everybody else. Lost and lonely, having hurt too many times. Up on hoping, thought I'd never get it right. Safe 
guys i almost said good morning i think i left it off when i was um uh, <coughs> excuse me when i was having breakfast or something of the sort so just a minute so <laughs> what happened was i told you guys i drank a very strong cappuccino last night so i slept at one woke up at five i was like what madness is this why would i wake up at five and i slept at one but anyway i still woke up and uh just laid in bed until it was around 6 37 ish and then went to shower so now um uh, i worked a bit then uh laid down on the couch started dozing off so i said ah, let me just go and nap for like one hour i even set the alarm did i not just wake up from three this is when i'm waking up it's 6 40 i didn't even hear the alarm go off ah so um uh, the mboga that i made ages ago <laughs> i want to make ugali for it and that's what i'll have for dinner and then um, uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow yo ah uh -uh. Good morning. Today is sorry about that. Good morning. Today is Saturday. That doorbell was to bring these mandazis. If there's anything I've eaten this year, it's mandazis. Um, I haven't taken a shower yet. That's why I don't want to face you guys yet. I was unknowingly boiling water on an empty boiler. I've asked them to pump water for me. So I'm going to have breakfast as they pump water and then I'll take a shower and then uh, we will catch up as the day goes along this is just a cup of cappuccino and mandazis Good morning yeah today sunday i woke up with a flu now why am i in it see now now why am i in it why am i in it and all i did was sleep on time how did i wake up with a flu <laughs> yo anyway i knew it was coming i could feel it from miles away i just didn't know it would go to a full-blown flu 
so because of that i want to make um, um a green tea with lemongrass and some lemons in there and um honey and ginger i'll have that with uh i feel like having um eggs and bacon and uh baked beans but i gotta put me first <laughs> I'm gonna put the leftovers first, rather. <laughs> so yeah, that is what I'm going to have for breakfast, and then I'm going to shower. It's pretty much early, that's why you can't hear the intense background noise because it's around uh, seven. So seven to eight, I'll be having breakfast. Eight to nine, I'll get ready, and then I'll join church online. All right, that is what my Sunday looks like. And then I'll edit this vlog so that you guys can have it uh, tomorrow at 9.30. Alright, so there's my breakfast leftover bajia fries with the taken caution. So, um, uh, someone had left a comment in a previous vlog. They wanted me to shed light on how, as an accountant, they can uh, um, um, protect their employer from possible litigation in the realm of uh, employment and labor relations so please allow me to shed light on that in the next vlog which will be in two to three weeks because unfortunately i have to go on a two three week break i just need to set some things in my life into perspective and then i will be back so with that i'm going to end this vlog here thank you guys so much so much for tuning in thank you for always supporting me and I'll see you soon. All right? Bye.